Good morning, Blessed Mary. Please tell us how you felt when you first found out that you were to be the mother of our Savior, Jesus Christ. I don't think there could be a greater blessing this world could offer a human being throughout the history of mankind. <laughs> Needless to say, I was troubled at his saying and considered what matter of greeting this was. The angel said to me, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bring forth a son and shall call his name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Highest. And the Lord God will give him the throne of his father, David. And he will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Then I said to the angel, How can this be, since I do not know a man? And the angel answered and said to me, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the highest will overshadow you. Therefore also that Holy One who is to be born will be called the Son of God. Then I said, Behold the maidservant of the Lord. Let it be to me according to your word. And the angel departed from me. And I said, My soul magnified the Lord, and my spirit has rejoiced in God my Savior, for he has regarded the lowly state of his maidservant. For behold, henceforth all generations will call me blessed, for he who is mighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is on those who fear him, from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He has put down the mighty from their thrones and exalted the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy as he spoke to our fathers, to Abraham, and to his seed forever. What a wonderful life we had with our son Jesus. Even the time we were frightened when he stayed behind in the temple, speaking with the teachers of the day, and we knew not where he was. Oh, when he was doing his work as a carpenter, it was so wonderful. And then, and then to see him hang on the cross and look down at me and say, Woman, behold your son. But as you know, after his death, he arose, and because of this, and your belief in this and my son, you all have salvation and will live eternally, and this is the greatest gift of all 